Hi there, and welcome to another QImage Ultimate instructional video. This one's going to be on the new AI Copilot feature. The new feature can be found up here. There's a button for it, AI Copilot. You can just click on that at any time. And you can see the little bot here and what his status is and see if you have any warnings. And it will also tell you about driver AI and what changes were made to the driver to make it compatible with what you're doing. So we have some options here, uh, but let me first show you how this works. Um, we have a Canon printer here, and as you can see by the gray borders here, if you look at this gray border here on the top and the gray border on the bottom, you'll notice that the bottom border is a little wider than the top, which means that the printable area for this printer is not centered. So if I take one of these pictures and I say put it on the page at 5 by 7 there's no problem doing that because the picture has enough room to be centered. So this is perfectly centered on the page. But if I take this picture and resize it and say fit to page, I've filled out the entire area of the page here and that area is not centered. So you gave QImage no option at the fit to page size, it can't be centered. It's not possible. So what happens is you see this little pulsing bar down here that tells you that AI has a message for you. And you don't have to try to line up with this small thing and click it here. You can just always go up here and click on the little robot. And you can see that under warnings, we have one bullet now. It says some prints are too large to center within the available uneven paper margins. So if you want to fix that, you can go fix it manually, make this a little bit smaller. But anytime a warning appears here, you can also just click on the warning. So if I click right here, it'll say reduce large print slightly to allow true centering. And if I click yes, watch this print in the background here. If I click yes, it makes it slightly smaller. And now the warning goes away. And I'll get rid of this dialogue. And you can see that the print is slightly smaller. And now it has enough slack to center it on the page. So this, this is the largest size print that is possible to be centered on this non-centered printable area for this particular printer. So there are various different uh, types of warnings that you can get. Uh, let me show you another one. We have a Canon printer here. And if I go here and do browse printer profiles and I just scroll down and uh, pick an Epson, uh, profile. So now I have a Canon printer and an Epson profile. Well, your AI copilot knows that that's wrong. There's something wrong here. You have a Epson printer profile with a Canon printer. That's probably not right. So it starts flashing in the area next to the control that's involved here. So printer profile, you know, something's wrong with the printer profile and I could click it here, but again, I'm just going to go up here, click the big button and it says potential printer profile mismatch. And again, this is made to be um, helpful here. The, your copilot's going to be helpful. So if I click on this warning, click, it automatically brings up the list of profiles in suggest mode. So it's suggesting profiles. And I can say, OK, that's, that's actually the one I want. So I'll click open on that. And I'll click OK. And now see the warning goes away. And I have the correct profile in there now. So this is how AI Copilot works. It's ready to help you at all times. It doesn't get in the way. It'll just flash that little pulsing bar next to the control where there's an issue. And you can see down here some of the controls. This warning indicator that I just showed you, the one that pulses, you can have it pulse or be a solid yellow. And you can turn any and all of these warnings and auto fixes on or off to your taste. So you can turn off Copilot completely by unchecking all these if, if you don't want any of them. But it's highly recommended that you leave these on because some of these like auto color management should never be turned off. Uh, but they are options because we realize that people have different uses, use cases. Um, but I'll turn your attention to the, the Copilot status. That's just telling you what the status of your Copilot is. So if, you, if I start unchecking some of these like I'll uncheck if we watch this uh, robot here while I uncheck these if I check uncheck a few you know he starts getting a little bit sleepy and if I uncheck a bunch more and un end up unchecking most of them he falls asleep and you can see that the 
status is that the copilot's asleep, most of the AI functions are disabled. So it gives you a quick update, a quick status indicator. It just if you look at the bot here, you can tell uh, am I mostly protected by the copilot or, or not? Um, some of these options here. These driver AI options, they're automatic fixes, so you don't have to do anything with these. This will automatically set your printer driver appropriately for the right color management mode, depending on whether you pick a profile or you say let printer manage color and so on. These are similar to what was in previous versions, but the new ones are, are warnings. Like we saw the warning where the print couldn't be centered, so that's print centering conflicts. If you don't want that warning to show up, just uncheck its box here. Um, printer profile issues. I just showed you that one. So that's another option. Borderless advisories, layout issues. So there's, there's different options here that the AI copilot can keep an eye on for you and make sure it helps you when it's appropriate. So let's say I'll do one more just to show you, get the hang of this. Uh, borderless advisories. So if I go into the driver here and I select borderless mode, Okay, I'm in borderless mode now. Immediately we start seeing the, the AI copilot pulsing bar here next to the driver properties saying that something about the driver properties that the copilot wants to talk to you about. So go up here and click on it. And it says borderless expansion is on. So all prints will be slightly larger than specified. And it's important to warn people of that because if I were to go say even a five by seven print if i put a five by seven print on the page if i hover over this you can see that it says seven by five but when you print it it's going to be slightly larger than that and it doesn't matter whether it's a full page like this or it's a five by seven print like this they're all going to be slightly larger so you get a notification that you know if especially if you're printing something like two five by sevens, you might expect these to be exactly five by seven, but they're not going to be. And you notice now I'm not on the tab that has this, this pulsing bar, but that's okay. If you, if you want to know what's going on, just look up. There's always a pulsing bar. If anything, if this copilot wants to tell you anything, this bar up here will be flashing too. So anytime you go to print, I would suggest take a quick look up here and see if this bar is flashing or not. And if it is, click on it and take a look and it will tell you. And if this is okay for you, if it's all right that all prints are slightly larger than specified, if you knew that, then that's fine. You can go ahead and print. But you might say, oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, so what happens when I click on that? If I click on that, it just brings up your printer dialog and you can unselect borderless if you like. Click OK. And you notice that the warning goes away and the copilot has helped us fix that potential issue. And once again, if you don't want to see, if you always print in borderless mode for whatever reason, which I don't recommend because there's a lot of, you know, provisos and potholes with borderless printing. I covered that in a different video. But if you don't want to be warned about that, just uncheck it. So it's all up to you how much of this you use, if any. Um, but I would suggest leaving all of these on so that the AI Copilot can help you through your print jobs and, and help you, uh, you know, avoid mistakes. And, and this one is a big one here when we have uh, fit the page and we notice that, you know, something by the IntelliCenter placement here, the, the bot wants to notify us of something. So if I click that, it'll say some prints are too large to be centered. Well, this happens all the time to people. They think that it's QImage's fault, but it's not because the printable area of this printer, the printer cannot physically print on some portions of the page. And you can see that the gray area at the bottom is larger than the top. So if you fill the whole non-centered printable area of that printer on this type of paper, you can't center it. It's not possible because you've filled up the whole area. And then people print and they say, my print's not centered, even though I had centered, you know, until center placement. So they get surprised by it a lot. So now there's the AI copilot here to help you. And you can always go in here. And if you really want this centered, if you don't want to cut it off the page, you want it centered, just click on the bot up here and then click on the warning message. Reduce large print slightly to allow true centering. Yes, it'll make this slightly smaller. 
And now you'll notice that the print is small enough that it could shift it down. See this little bit of white space here? It used that little bit of white space to equalize the larger gap at the bottom. So if you have a print that's small enough, it can center it. And now, as you can see, the bot is happy up here. If I click on it again, there's no warnings now. So you know that the print is centered. So that's how the AI Copilot works. It's a bot here that's going to help you through things and try to prevent mistakes before you end up printing and then discovering something. So you can take a look at the warnings here. And again, driver AI, if, if you are changing something with your, let's say I change, I don't want to do a profile one. I want to say let printer manage color. Well, you can see driver AI has fixed some printer driver settings. So it went into the driver and it changed it from off, which was the color management mode for that profile that I had. Once I switched from the profile to let printer driver manage color, then in the driver itself, it fixed that by setting it from off to ICM, which is the proper mode for the printer driver managing color. Now, if we go into this AI Copilot here, under the printer driver AI, we can see the following driver changes were made automatically, gives you the time and date, fixed color management mode. So it tells you down here what, what it, the bot is telling you what it's doing, what it recommends, any warnings, and so on. If I go into the driver now, I can see that under color intensity man, manual adjustment, uh, it's on ICM, which is appropriate for let printer driver manage color. And again, if I go and I change to a profile, it will change this back. And now if I check that same setting in the driver, it's set color management to none, which is appropriate when you have a color profile in here. So you can see everything that AI Copilot's doing for you. And you can uh, turn it on, turn it off, turn the options on that you want some of them, none of them, all of them, however you want to use it, but it's here for your help and it will help uh, eliminate any surprises at print time. Thanks for watching.